Today we're going to take another look at the natural language framework. Apple introduced this framework in June 2018 at the WWDC. Alright, let's start with the playground. I'm going to call it NLP Name Detector. Let's remove all the generated code. Next, I import the natural language framework. Notice that I'm using Xcode 10 beta. You'll get a compiler error whenever you try to import this framework on a prior version of Xcode. The natural language framework is available starting with iOS 12. Thus, we need to make sure that we're on iOS 12 or later. So I add this condition. The NLTagger class provides the features required to analyze natural text. We'll initialize the tagger object with the name type scheme. The name type scheme classifies tokens according to whether they are part of a named entity. Currently, it can specify whether a tag is a personal name, an organization name, or a place. Consider the following example. The tagger can identify the names Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. The place, Los Altos, and the organization, Apple Computer and Apple Inc. Alright, now let's get back to Xcode and see how it works. First, I create the string you've just seen. And we need to assign it to the tagger's string property. Next, I'm gonna use the tagger to enumerate over the entire range of the string, from the start index up to its end index. The token unit is a word. And the scheme is a name type. I specify the options next. We exclude punctuation and white spaces during classification. And I tell the tagger to join names. By default, multiple word names would be returned as multiple tokens. For example, Steve and Wozniak instead of Steve Wozniak. In the closure, we get the tag and the range as we iterate through the tags. If the tag is valid, I simply print the substring from the given token range, followed by the tag's raw value. Alright, now let's run the demo. The tagger identifies the personal names. Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, Ronald Wayne. And Steve Jobs one more time. Apple Computer and even Apple Inc. are detected correctly as organization names. And there's one place name, Los Altos. Awesome, isn't it? We can tweak the demo further by setting up the tagger with the name type or lexical class tag scheme. I've got to update the scheme also in enumerate tags. Let's hit run. Now, besides names, the tagger can also detect the lexical classes of the words in the sequence. There's another video tutorial on detecting lexical classes. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. I find the capabilities of the new natural language framework fascinating. And there's more. I'm gonna discuss further natural language processing features in upcoming videos. So stay tuned. And don't forget to press like if you enjoyed this tutorial and also hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching.